Chow. Chow's the story. Chow, yeah, this is the story of Chow. What, what was your name for it again? Chow do you win? How, Chow do you win? Yeah. So that's that's the storyline that uh, I'm on board with right now as I'm waiting for Chow to get a gold gold shotgun and let's see if he can pull one down. He's got the car already. As yeah. long as he's by himself, I'm not sure if he is or not, but he's at least gonna oh. have a vehicle, and that vehicle is gonna be snatched away from him. But there's a shotgun. There in the is corner. a shotgun <laughs> in the corner. Chow is good to go. He's set. Gonna be able to find a waste pack. He'll be able to get a little bit of loot. Didn't look like there was a backpack in there. Oh. Memento. Memento, a uh, player that's been around forever. He's gonna take the early Elim this match as he goes down first for this game. Serial Killer, gonna have himself a vehicle already as he's looking around. Morningstar, hanging out. Where is he, Ranchito? Looked like he was in Ranchito. H3? Yeah, that'd be Ranchito. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be looting up a little bit. No backpack yet. Looks like he's gonna max out on ammo. That's always the worst when you find everything you need but the, big, the bag. Except the thing to carry it. Yeah, it's yeah, never a good feel. Pretty Bond Girl, again, somebody that we were talking about in matchup number one. First time watching her in competitive play. Shows up, takes down a seven. You know what's the one thing about Pretty Bond Girl's play style that I think sets her apart from everyone else is her vehicle play is insane. Yeah. Watch, like, I don't think she's going to do it right now. No, she has no reason to. If she gets into a car battle, the way she uses her vehicle for cover is insane. I like the circle. Oh, that was a big, big breathing. I like. Yeah, I was kind of looking at the circle, trying to figure out what what possible endings we can get off of it. Mm -hmm. um, I like a lot of these areas. So one of the circle possibilities for a final circle is to pull up into kind of Mosquito River, and you get that bridge, the Broken Bridge area, uh, which has some elevation changes there that could be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. A lot of uh, a lot of plays gonna be here in. PV, though. PV is completely within the circle, so we're going to have people hanging out a lot longer, getting a lot more looted up, a lot more kitted before they go. We're going to see a lot of shotgun battles, uh, yep. more so than we saw in the last match, because as these guys rotate out, a lot of these guys are going to be sitting in buildings right next to one another, so they're going to have to run into each other as they come out of these buildings to try and rotate when the circle Ooh. does finally pull out. Smexy just kind of staring this one down, not taking the no shots, idea. though. What trigger discipline? Yeah, I would have. I would have been shooting already. Yeah, I definitely would have been shooting already. Um, I haven't really heard anybody else around either, so I think it's just Hurricane and Smexy right here. Doesn't look like a. Uh, there's one over there on the left side, but I think he's a couple buildings down. Well, Smexy went out so early. I mean, first early in the last game, right? So. I don't think he wants to risk He doesn't it want all. the early that's Yeah. yeah. He Smexy can't. Doesn't, doesn't want the early game fight again. Yeah, if he takes a, an early death here, he's basically kind of sealed his fate. He's not making it to the top 10. Correct. But New Ghost gets taken out by Flippity. And now, actually, Hurricane is behind Smexy. Ooh. Comes around the corner with one shot. Oh. Smexy goes down. Wow. Poor. Uh, guys, I wish you could see Jason's face on that. That's an oof that for me, a, boys. That that's, was, that's that that's wasn't rough. an oof. That was an oof covered in yikes with a side of unlucky. That is that that is it. That's just unlucky. Mm -hmm. Unlucky. The, gets the first hit, not able to hit the second. The other player clutches up. Straight Hurricane just shot. pumps him right in the face. I mean, it, if, if you're going to go down, at least you went down to a nice shot. It wasn't like a questionable shot. And we're seeing some jumpers coming out of Adam. This is actually a great little area, too, though, for the jump shot. So mm -hmm. that's something that we haven't had in competitive play in a very long time. It's nothing I've uh, ever seen in competitive play because I'm a, I'm a Z2 kid. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was back in early Z1 that we had that. And getting to see people try and use it here now, it's not quite as simple as you would think there's no. a little bit of a little bit of work to it but once you've got it down it can be a great asset um, you can see him kind of using that wall to kind of get a couple jump shots here you can jump and get quick two taps also if you really know that motion of being able to pull down to get the your cursor to stay consistent in the one spot hmm. so see if anybody pulls off any any really solid one oh, oh! That is not what you want to walk in. That is the wrong door, my friend. <laughs> wrong door, wrong door. Wrong door, wrong door. Unlucky. Uh, Flippity firing some shots over towards Mura. Flippity just stole that Jeep, too. He didn't steal it. It was a really interesting move if you caught it. He went to grab it because he had the truck, but someone was on top of the apartments firing down into it. Luckily, Flippy was able to get out, but look at the Jeep's condition already in the yellow, which means it's got to be right around, what, 
It's under. It's under. Uh, under it's, it's probably close to 50% yep. right now. So, I mean, what do you want? Do you want a 50 Jeep or do you want a 100 truck? Um. The. I want to see the sick plays. I want. I want. I want to take the truck, mm -hmm. and I want to see the seat four seat swap. You know, I don't think we've seen any vehicle play really. We haven't seen seat seat swapping at all yet. I got. It's kind of like a cod rush play, though. It, mm -hmm. It's 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 a high risk play when everybody in the, anybody you're coming up against in a public game, it's fine. People in here are gonna know how like they're gonna know where to spray their shots at right. when you seat swap to take you out. It, you know the difference. When you seat swap on a player that has no idea what they're doing and you seat swap on a player that does know what they're doing, it's a very, very different engagement. Mm -hmm. You're putting yourself at a lot more risk. Exactly. We saw that drop. Now we're going to go on to Skontan. Lyrics gets taken out. Flippity, we were just on him. Perfect. So Skontan is just out in the middle of realistically nowhere. There's not much around him at this point. I mean, he's got power lines and a road. He's Truth. Fine. Truth. I mean, I guess realistically... Good thing, if you're ever lost, follow power lines. Yeah, that'll lead you home. It'll mm -hmm. go somewhere. Somewhere. Go to something, hopefully. Mazuka here. So this is going to be big res here in PV. This is this was one of my favorite places in Z1 in any kind of competitive play. Old school CA matches, just shotgun battles over fences mm -hmm. all the time. We could potentially have it. There are several players here. It doesn't look like Mizu's right behind Baji. Firing shots down into him. They haven't hit him. He's driving like a madman, but now Mazaka's taking damage from elsewhere. Yeah, Mazuko's getting beamed. Able to get away, though, just narrowly. 5% health. Needs to get the heal off. There it is. It's like, is he going to roll it? Is he going to roll it? Gets it done. And that's going to be your boy Bambucks on the flux. Right in the middle of at least four or five different people right now is Mikaeli. Uh, Mikalele does find H Slayer, but Bambucks right across the street from Havachi. Mazuka's there, Mizu's there, Ostrogard's there. I mean, this res is a poppin' right now, and there's nobody coming over for dinner unless dinner is bullets. Unless dinner is bullets. I don't, I don't, that's not a dinner <laughs> I want, That's not a good man. dinner? Hey, uh, Cardo, if you're watching right now, when we go out for food, I don't want bullets. I want bullets. I want bullets on your all pizza. You. I'm looking more like a steak. Just, uh, just a heads up, Cardo. Uh, wow. <laughs> so, a lot of players here in the middle. I'm just kind of staring at the center of this circle as it's closing in. This circle really didn't shift. It hasn't shifted yet. We're going to see it shift as soon as it closes in. But Ego, there's a couple uh, Starshipper. There's a couple couple names that were ones that I was kind of looking at at the start of this event that are all hanging out pretty close to each other in the middle, so we'll see where this next circle goes. Again, this next circle isn't the one that we're really watching for. It's the circle after. So that one after that is the one that we're really trying to keep an eye out for. Well, these long-distance shots right now. Oh, we actually just saw, I believe it was a helmet taken off of Lagger. Lagger's actually very low. It's Pinkman is right in front of him. Going to throw that grenade. It could mean that he's pushing him off to the left. No, it doesn't happen. It's going to be a push as he has to go around on the side at this point, trying everything he can to get Lagger out of position so he can fire shots down. But we are going to see that circle. See where this one pulls. It's going to be just a little southeast. We, it, it kinda, I mean, we basically got the, the same center to the circle almost. It didn't shift mm -hmm. enough to really affect a lot of these guys. Majority of them are inside the circle. We're going to see people moving a lot later in this matchup than we did in the last one because there's a city inside the circle right. still. Big Res, there's a house for everyone. The entire, everybody in the entire field can go ahead and just move into yep. PV and yep. everybody can hang out and have some nice conversations, bullet wait for the dinners. circle to move. But I don't suggest the bullet <laughs> dinners. I highly recommend all of you do not go to Fiorme's for dinner. <laughs> if he invites you over, I would pass. He is a serial killer. <laughs> well, speaking of serial killer, that is him right on the border. You guys right don't know this. Fiorme's one. actually playing right yeah, now. Yeah, this, this, this is me. This is this is Fiorme yeah. with bullet dinners. If you guys didn't know, I was number one of you. Way to go. Yep. Good job. Yeah. Abusing your ping. That's what it was. I'm abusing my ping. Abusing your ping from Texas. Uh, serial killer and Pretty Bond Girl goes both going to be players kind of out in fields, just kind of rotating around, staying mobile. Pretty Bond Girl though is very very low on gas on her vehicle. She's not going to be able to drive around much longer. Morningstar's car going to eat some shots. Well, the curious thing, Morningstar, nice little drift there, getting the car a little into cover, but 
It's not enough cover. Someone else is there. He's trying to just hold on to that vehicle for as long as he can. Shot him in right in front. A lot of shots onto the vehicle, but none into the body. Whips out that Magnum. I'm not going to lie. I'm always impressed when people hit Magnum shots because I have such a hard time with it. I've gotten better with it recently. I, it took me a little bit to adjust to the way that the Magnum's currently working, um, especially when they did the most recent changes. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm starting to get get it back down. The Magnum, the Magnum's, I would, I prefer it actually versus like an M9. Yeah. Um, for pistols, if I'm gonna land, I'm gonna get a gun. I'd prefer to have the Magnum. Ooh, pretty bomb girl has an X of bullets being shot at her right now. She has barely any angle to that she can get out of here with. She's gonna keep using those smokes. Ooh, but the grenade comes. Perfect grenade from Psycho Altair. Yeah, Psycho Altair is de uh, Altair. Is, it, Altair. is that Altair? Is that a is that a uh, Assassin's Creed reference? I think that might be an uh, Assassin's Creed reference. Possibly. I'm not sure. Uh, but. Yeah, pretty bomb girl. Gonna go down here early. Had a stellar game number mm -hmm. one. Gonna need to come in with a stellar game number three to try and lock herself into a top ten position overall. Seventh, seventh, and 69th are not gonna do it. No, that does not average out very well in the slightest. But right thou, right thou, right there, right thou, right thou, Nivla, put some shots on the darling. I don't know. Is he gonna go for the push? It does look like he just really wants to go for this one. Uh, I think the player's in the other warehouse down there to the right, yep. though. So it looks like he's just going to go ahead angle. and at least try and get inside and get some cover. Got an armor coming down to look for it as that player hops into the Ooh. vehicle. Gets two, two hits. Really was probably looking to shoot the car because he swapped to the yeah. Magnum. He didn't swap to the AR. He actually wanted damage in the vehicle. Instead, gets a, either an armor or a helmet and then a body shot. So that was actually really nicely placed shots, but not nice enough. Not what he was looking for. It may have, but had he... Oh! Uh... That's Darling, I'd like unlucky. to have a conversation. Did you forget that the car was on fire? It looked like... So he, he was trying to find cover because Duncan was there. Went to go around the right side of the car because he probably thought he had more time. I think he needed to rotate sooner. He tried to rotate out to take the shots against Duncan, and he should have been rotating to heal by himself beforehand. He could have gone to the back of the warehouse. Uh, Definitely a misplay. Yep. Well, Ooh, chow. Chow. He's got the toxic. He doesn't need the, the gold. E-tips. Does he have E-tips? He's got a, got a crossbow for something. I'm assuming it's E-tips. And you can start to see as this zone is starting to pull south now, we're going to be pulling out, and this is the this is the circle that we're looking for. This is the circle where it starts getting too congested. The players can't survive with this number of them in the circle, especially as they start to move to set up for the, whatever the next circle announcement. So upon the announcement of the next circle, I expect we're going to be missing another 10 to 15 players, and we'll probably then lose half of those on that next circle. Ooh, Duncan taking a few shots from Nibble there. Not going to be anything. Pinkman does find Salas, though. Pinkman is doing very well. We saw him in that camper, and he's still there. He still has... Does he have more on him right now? I don't think he does. I think he'll be safe, but Pinkman doing very well. He's picked up a few kills. Yeah, he's got a... He, I think he has He has two or three this match, so he's at least got He's at least got the double so far. Um, Ostergaard looks like he's either going to be in a fight or was just in a fight. There's somebody right underneath him. I just don't know if that player is dead or not because the name kind of hangs out for a second after they get eliminated. Magic, no, by the way, though. Sticking through the wall. There it's it is, and he's going to come up, get that first pump, chunks him down to 56. You know, hey, coming in looking for that finish. Doesn't have an armor of his own, though, so he's very susceptible to a one pump. He's looking to get into no. this fight, and Ostergaard is going to punish that aggression as he tries to push in on him. That's exactly what I was just saying. You don't have the armor. I, I never, me personally, Ooh, nice Ooh. shot on to Vi. Kuba going to take down that kill. I never like to push if I don't have a makeshift. I really no. don't like it. I don't feel comfortable even with the makeshift because I've got a 99% chance of getting pumped in the head. But Yeah, you're lucky because mine's 99.1% chance. Ooh. So That's rough. Yeah. It's unlucky. Well, I mean, Chow is doing so well here. Got a great position, plenty of cover. He's playing it smart, too. One thing you'll notice, the difference between a really good player... And a really, really good player is that movement. Movement's a big one, and then I, really the side that makes a lot. Ooh, David gonna get taken out there by Morningstar. Um, one of the big things is 
is positioning, is how how do you rotate and react to the people around you, when to engage and when to drive by. Um, it, it's not the exciting side of the game, right? Right. But it's a part of the game that's a discipline that makes up, well, makes all the difference in the world. You can take everybody that's the best shots ever, period. You could be the best gunner. But if you can't set yourself in the right position to be able to take the fight, it doesn't matter. Bomb's going to come through. Gets no eliminations there, though. It was very Had close, a barely one. surviving that one. 19 health. Has his heels rolling. He's trying to get healed back up. A couple shots coming out. Duncan official going to get taken down by Caretaker. And Fibbity going to go down to a shotgun as well at the hands of Clyde. And then an AR kill going to ring out onto Caretaker. from. Oh, that Ooh. laser coming in from Tazix there. Absolutely destroyed Ada. That was like three shots dead on. Yeah, Pipetta gonna find himself an Elim with that shoddy. Bombs coming through again, not gonna connect on anybody. Narawat gonna go down to the toxic gas. Never wanna go down there. Nibble finally getting eliminated. Hibachi gonna go down to a so grenade. So much happening right now, and here's Bamboo on the flux as well. He'll push forward. He has a few people in front of him right now. Trying to get Ooh. shots on the mix, and he does get two. Mix is, loses his armor, gonna be down to 77 health. He did take one body shot. Bissau goes down to the gas as well. The assist goes over, but Bamboo's getting shot from the backside. He can't do anything, did get a helmet though. Not able to get that turn. Adam's gonna get a couple hits, and now he's looking to take out Mixcria. Mixcria gonna go ahead and oh. die. <laughs> gonna go mind. ahead looked and like, die. Looked like he was gonna go ahead and get that smoke down, but not able to get it off in time. Finish coming in, and now Adam looking for another Elim as he just beams Wi-Fi, trying to get the finish, and there it is. Wi-Fi, Rifi's EU brother, gonna yep. get eliminated there. Rifi's here today too. You have Rifi's over spectating, and he's got his brother here. I, I wonder explain. if he was the one spectating. I wonder if he just had to watch his EU brother go down. Maybe that's why. Maybe that would be. Aw that's really sad. He's probably crying in yeah, the other room. Yeah, that's really sad. I'm sorry, Ryan. Well, Arrow's gonna push up onto this rock. See who it was. He was near, but also. I don't remember what position Arrow went down in last. Match. I feel like it was pretty mid. Pretty I think mid. it was mid. Yeah, he needs he needs a big one. It was here. in that big bubble burst. Yeah. Which I mean has happened. Things are slowing down a little bit. There's still a, a lot beat. going on. Arrow's there goes gonna Arrow go down now. to Kuba. Kuba's I'm so doing sorry, so bud. well Cast, this game. Caster curse, but Kuba's definitely going off. I think that's his third or fourth key level of the game. Askey showing up in that kill feed now as he takes down Hasker. And Shoddy Main on the press right now, looking for the fight with Carlson. Carlson not able to find that shot around the corner. Grenade coming out from Shoddy Main. Carlson on the press, both with the Shoddy. And Shoddy Main is going to win the Shoddy battle. Carlson going to go down there and leave nothing behind but a, but a little pail full a little of candy. Bit of candy. A little bit of candy. Dandis, gonna go down to the hands of Mikaleli, and I don't know if you just caught it, but... I love that name, Mikaleli. Chow just went down, 30 seconds. 30 seconds, so Chow's gonna need a big game three if he's looking to take down that gold shoddy, mm -hmm. which I'm sure is the goal. It has yeah, to it be, has nothing to be that, like, I refuse to accept any other storyline other than Chow wants a gold shotgun. Many H1, though, gonna get eliminated by a headshot elsewhere on the map to Hurricane. Psycho, Altair, looking for the fight against one of the players that we've talked a lot about. That is gonna be ASCII. He is an absolute beam of a player. Once his smoke nade clears, I expect Psycho Altair to be in a little bit of a rough spot, but he's gonna go ahead and deny that vision again with another smoke. Tries to spray a couple shots in there, not gonna find anything. Serial Killer, though, gonna finally get eliminated. It's gonna be at the hands of Mikaleli. Yeah, our game one winner goes down. And look, right now, everyone is on the edge of the outside of the gas, and Askey's in a fight, and Askey Ooh. goes down as well. Psycho Altair is playing out of his mind. Yeah, he's going to get an Elim another. Again, that's a that's a big Elim, and Askey going down right around the same spot that he did last round. He's going to need a big game three. It's, he needs a win. He, he realistically he, he, needs a win. He's going to he's gonna need a win, or at least a top three probably, to place himself into that top ten, depending on what the, the top ten players in this one look like. Well, again, we'll get to see the overall leaderboard. We'll get mm. to see the match leaderboard um, after the match. So we'll see where he's sitting. If, I don't know that top 25 is enough twice puts you in top 20 even. No, probably not. Probably not. Gas right here on the edge of Altair. Giving him a little bit of trouble as he's pushing into the zone. Tagged up. Armor has a little bit of damage there from previous engagement that he just had. He's going to need to get healed up. Shoddy Main going to go down. He's going to be in 20th, so he's going to round out that top 20 for this round. Altair is not in a good spot. Ooh. Goes down. 
I was going to say the other half of that is he's using all his utility to try to get forward. There was no way he would have survived in a top five. It, he was, he's basically just gone through all the smoke nades in the world there mm -hmm. from the fight with ASCII. We know that we used two or three over there. He used a grenade over there. Morningstar gets himself a grenade kill onto Tazix, and we're down to 17 players remaining. Everybody kind of having to move through the water and get up against this edge. A lot of these guys that didn't get here early to get to the center of this this little island are going to be in a really rough spot as they're going to have to fight their way in. Some of the guys that got there earlier for this safe zone are going to be set up a lot better to close out the top ten. Yeah, and that's exactly what we're seeing. You saw there's only three or four people inside the zone. Everybody else has to push, and you're right. It's nothing but rivers. It's nothing but there's a little bit of a force on the backside. This is what we were talking about before. This is about map knowledge. This is about rotations, about where to be, where is the odds of the safe zone going to go from here. This is the the side you don't see. This is the mental game, and we're going to see a fight between Magic and Mikaleli. The wow. first shot going to be the connection from Magic, but Mikaleli going to close that one out with a headshot. Magic gets taken out. Mikaleli still in this one. Four eliminations for Mikaleli on this game. He is playing this so insanely well. Pretty sure he's top of the list right now for kills. Uh, he's got to be in this in this match. Him or Kuba. Kuba had a had mm -hmm. quite a few elims as well. And then that, uh, the player Adam got like three or four there in a row too. So, but he's definitely up there in the top three for it. Red gonna get tagged a couple times. Three shots coming out, and he is gonna go down to Yiko. Ego Starshipper gonna find a kill on a Mikaleli elsewhere. Adam still in this one as he gets his fifth elim of the game and takes out Mizu Twitch. And then, and then does Otom find Tom too. As well. Adam is six. going off. He's he at six right now. I'm sorry, he's the leader. He has to be. He is now. Yeah, he just picked up these two kills, so that's gonna put him at six with the lead. Mike gets naded out. We should stop talking about people. At 11, I, we have to talk about him. Oh. It's what we're supposed to do. Pamper's going to go down in 10. Adam actually not making it into the top 10. He might be in the top 10 with the kill bonuses in. I'm not sure if that's enough to bump him up a space. We'll have to see once the leaderboards come up. Ultra going to go down as well to Hurricane. We are down to six as Hurricane gets eliminated by Litz. And there we go. So Starship, Arakshif, Yao, Xianu, Pamper's. That's five, the sixth one hiding off on the side. This is uh, kind of exactly what I was thinking it would be. We got them hiding in, and that nade is a gas. It would be right behind. What, I think Can it he right see over. him? I don't know. I doubt it. Okay, it looks like this rock sticks out a little bit. From, from that angle, it looked like he should have been able to see the back of his head. I was like, why is he not <sighs> shooting him? Morning Star is who I want to talk about right now because he's in a really tough situation. But Morning Star was in top two last round. Yeah. So this is huge for him breaking top six. He's going to get a lot of points. He's setting himself up to very easily take home one of those gold, uh, one of the gold ARs. Uh, or the, gold AR. Sorry, I mean, he's setting himself up pretty solid to go shotgun, after our yeah. gold shotgun is what he's doing. He's trying to steal Chow's dreams. Well, Chow went out pretty early this game, so I, this should possibly put Chow's Morningstar gonna, in front. I think Chow's going to probably need a win in the next game to mm -hmm. try and leapfrog over Morningstar if he performs anywhere near what he did last one round, which is exactly what he's doing. Fio going to go down to Sainu. I can't pronounce it. We're going <laughs> to skip that one. Morningstar going to take out Star Shipper. So Morningstar still in this one. Now in top four. This is where the story is shifting. Morningstar, can he close out a game number two? Wasn't able to do it in game number one. Nope. He's in a similar situation here. Top three getting healed up. Is he going to be the focus this round, or is he going to be one of the two pinching to where he gets that top two? Right now, it looks like he's going to be the player to get pinched by Litz and by Yaiko. But look, he's running down on the back Ooh, side the of this, trying to get behind Yaiko. But Yaiko has a good idea. He's there, but so does Morningstar. Morningstar put some bullets down. Litz is still up top. I mean, at this moment, Litz, would you say Litz has the advantage? I'd say Litz has the advantage because right now he can just completely stay out of the engagement. Uh, Yaiko going to be right underneath Morningstar. We should see that fight break out in a moment here. Morningstar can definitely hear him. He has to be able to hear the footsteps right underneath him. Yeah, he sees it. Point. He's looking for it. There's a little, yeah, almost like a little like indent there that he's able to kind of hide in and deny line of sight to Morningstar. He's going to try and make the move around. It's a long walk, though. There's not really a I good way gas. up right yeah. here. The, really, the only way up is right here. And he's going to have to hop. I don't even know that he's going to make it up that. He's going to have to run around the other side. He may get He might get isolated down here. He's going to actually, I think, get stuck in the gas. It's he's going to get be stuck in the problem. gas. Yeah. What an unfortunate way to go out. Yaiko's 
taking a lot of damage. He could have come up on the side that he was originally at, right. but he didn't want to walk up into the lit, so he basically got himself stuck. Morningstar, though, new armor on it. He just beats lit, and that is the win. Yaiko going down right at the end, also to the gas. Morningstar with the fireworks for the win. Congratulations to him. Second place, match number one. First place, match number two.